can't be a bat. What? No. Come to think of it, he ain't. I just saw him driving off. So we don't have to worry then, do we? Leave me alone, will just you? Just chatting, Kef. No harm in that, eh? Let me get past. Not so fast. So friendly. Look, if you're after more money, you can't have none, right? I said I'd give you 20 shh, a week. Shh. Don't make it sound so cruel. Cool. 20 a week. And last week I gave you 40. So this week I don't have to give you nothing. Well, that's a shame. Because I need a bit more, really. You had this week's last week. Just 20. That's all. No. Pete will notice. Well, maybe we should tell him all about it, then. Tell him the old sorry story. I mean, I don't like being devious any more than you do. Just the agreed amount for the week. It is Thursday. I have been patient. I haven't got it. You've got a bank account though, ain't you? I can't dip into that. I'll be at the playground. One o'clock. Waiting. You be there. Nick, I want you to take a message for me. Oh, hello, Kath. Am I on the stool? No. But I should be. Ta da. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbour's ox. Noise ass. Message, Ma. What message? Oh, yes, I want you to tell Pauline I'll be a little late. I've got another mile to walk for me veins. Tell her doctor's orders. I might, if I'm going that way. And Nick? What? Kathy's a married woman. You keep off. Be late on doctor's orders. Oh, yeah. Uh, actually, while you're here, Nick, Arthur wants to have a word with you, don't you, Arthur? Now, can you stay here and look after the place till Doc gets here? I'm going to go home to Mum. Yeah. See you. Hi, Nick. Well, how's things these days? Fine, thanks, Arthur. Pauline said you wanted a word. Yeah, yes, yes, I did, yes. Or was it my uh, ever-loving mother who said you wanted to have a word, eh? Oh, no, 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 it was Tony. Oh, I've got you there, Arthur. So good old Tone wants good old Arthur to have a word, eh? What a caring little community we are. Everybody mind everybody else's business. How sweet. Well, come on in. Let's have it. I mean, I can help you along if you get stuck, because I've heard it all before. What am I really doing? What am I up to these days? Well, come on in. I'm listening. No, it's all right, Nick. I don't want to ask you anything. Hop it. And my social working days are strictly over. So I've come back here, and he's in on the store, and his dinner out, and Cathy's nowhere to be seen. Where is she, I say? Gone to the bank, he says. I mean, the bank, the game. But she only went there the other day, I. And we've got no need to go on a Thursday. So when she comes back, I say to her, Have you been to the bank again? And she says she didn't. So I say, What the hell have you been doing then? And she just steams off without bleeding will answer me. I mean, what is the matter with her these days? She's acting mighty peculiar. Look, I was thinking, she's pretty fond of you. So do us a favour, have a few words with her, see what's up, mate. No, definitely not, no. No? No, I'm sorry, but I'm too busy. I've got to go home, put my feet up and eat this cream bun. Then I'm going to practice being selfish before I lose the knack. Turn around and move off in one yellow fluid movement. Hello, sweetheart. You're a single cup. Thank you. You shot me at your heart. Hit it, real bomb. I'll leave you. You said you told me anything. Oh, it's a lot. Very good to be in the moment. The right to go, it was, you know. What we bought going away, with shingles and worrying about all of us. It's a bad now, you know. I'm not going to worry about it. 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 I'm not going to wor
Oh, don't blame me. I know he's very attractive to women. Don't think I haven't noticed that. But you are a married woman, and I don't want to see him hurt. Know what I mean? Not yet. Patience, darling. Patience. <laughs> you getting impatient like me, love? Why do you think I'm seeing so close? Oh, you got a one-track mind, you have. Yeah, I know I have. Well, I hope he's worth waiting for. As long as he's got what it takes. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. Oh, there we are, girls. Coming a big, big round of applause for the fabulous Danny Owen. Uh, isn't he lovely? Oh, definitely my type. Rough and ruthless. Uh, not the type I usually get, tough and toothless. Uh, it's a drag queen, Mum. No, Pauline. I wasn't born yesterday. Well, listen, we're going to call you girls the virgins, all right? <laughs> now, we use the term loose, though. Well, there's so few of us left. Sit down. Mm. Shall I fetch Pete? No. Look, um, no, don't, I'm all right. I'll be all right in a minute, please. What is it? Are you ill? Someone upset me, that's... Angie? Something she said? Nick Cotton. Oh. Nick Cotton. No, totally, just forget it. It's nothing. I'm fine now, look, honestly. Just a minute. <laughs> Angie! <laughs> Show him a thing or two. Can you come outside a minute? Yeah, all right. Here, Paul, look after the bath for you a minute. Yeah. What's the matter, darling? You don't even know, I tell you. We won. Yes, you will. Because I've been a right idiot. I'm being blackmailed. Mailed? Told you you'd laugh. We're not laughing, are we, Ken? Yeah. You will when I tell you bye. Nick Cotton. I thought I could handle it. But I can't. So now I'm going to have to tell you something I didn't want to have to tell anyone, ever. Oh, come on, Kath. You can tell us. We won't mind whatever it is. Yeah, and if you tell us, we can help you, can't we, Kate? When I was 14... Oh, <laughs> it's not so dreadful, really. When I was 14, on my way home from school, I was raped. And one way and another, things being what they are, nine months late, Ray Presto, I had a baby. Yes, a baby, Pauline. Heard of them? They do come along every so often. Nick Cotton nicked me medical cards from Dr. Leg's surgery. I've got to pay him to stop him telling Pete. Stop him telling? You mean to tell me you haven't told Pete? <laughs> Big mistake, eh? Chickens always come home to roost in the end, don't they? How much is he asking for? 200 quid. 200 quid? A little toe rag? 
Oh, Kath, look, I'm going to have to go back to the bar. Look, we'll get the end nut out of the way, then you, me and Paul sit down and we'll sort it all out. All right. Yeah, and listen, Kath, the first thing you've got to do is you've got to tell Pete. I can't! I can't tell Pete! Kathy, you must, because then Nick Cotton will have nothing to blackmail you over. Oh, come on, we'll help you. I'll sort it out later, darling. Yeah, you out. Yeah. God! Nick Cotton's like one hand on my cafe, a murderer! Hey, calm down, man. All she said is upset her, not touched her. I'm upset her out! Look, relax, sit down. Wait until the evening and ask her yourself. Look, my cafe don't make fusses. She's as hard as they come. Are you sure she was crying, Tom? Nah, nah. Nah, she never cries. What's going on down there, Ben? I don't know. All I know is that Nick Cotton's a nasty piece of work, and if he has done something, or well, maybe we can get him for it. How are we going to do that? Nail him. Yeah, but how? OK, so he's the rotten apple in the barrel. We all know that. And the thing to do with rotten apples is to chuck him out. But, but with Nick... Hold on a minute, it's all... It's all slippery. Yeah, you never pin nothing on him. He always wriggles out of it, doesn't he? Then we haven't dealt with him right. You took the law into your own hands, remember, last time, and that... beat him up. Yeah, and that didn't work, did it? And it never would. You've got to get him proper. Get him legal and get him put away. Well, I don't see, yeah. I mean, he only got away with murder last time, didn't he? Then it? we have to box clever. Use the noddle. If he's done something to upset Cathy, that's what we get him for. Look, you four, out of my way. I'm going down there to find her. Sod your in nights, then. She's more important to me than some fat taking his clothes off. Hey, 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 hey. Call me back, Tom. Quick, call me back. There he girl. Come on, a nice big band of clothes for the fabulous, fabulous Frankie, baby. Yeah. Well, girls, that brings us together. You don't have to look if you don't like it. On behalf of the artist, I hope that Oh, Kathy, I've been thinking about you all morning. You sure you're all right? Of course I am. So, can you manage on your own for a minute? I just want to have a word with Pauline and Kate. All right, girl talk, eh? Yes, you manage behind the bar for me. Come along, darling, just five minutes. Ange, I'm all right. I know you're all right. Just come and sit down for a second. Right then, no messy. Have you told him? Oh, oh, Kath. I just couldn't. Not last night. I thought we'd better to do it, wasn't I? You know, when I weren't feeling so emotional. Yeah, but what about Peter? I told him we'll have a talk tonight. When Ian's safely out of the way. He was in a right old state. Poor Pete. Must be all sorts of things going through his mind. I know. But it's just really difficult. I've been going over and over my head what to say. It's just coming out different every time. Listen, he's your old man and he's my brother. Now we know he's a good bloke. So why don't you just tell him? I don't know about that, Paul. I mean, I got followed down by a bloke once when I was first going out with Den. I mean, nothing happened because a copper come along and chased him off. But didn't I shake me up? I told Den about it, thinking he'd be all sympathetic. And did I get a shock? What do you mean? Well, he gave me hard time, didn't he? What was I doing out that late? Why didn't I get a taxi? What do I expect walking around dressed up like that? I got so upset, I threw a cup of coffee over him. Well, I'm not worried about Peter on that score. I'm more worried about what he's going to do to Nick Cotton. Oh, now, come on, Kathy. That's our worry, not yours. Angie and I'll sort it out. Yeah. You just tell him and you'll feel much better. Look, do you want a drink? No, I don't think so. Yes, you do. We both do. Now, you're going to sit over there. And let's get it over with. I'm sorry, Pete. I'm so sorry. Well, how do you think I feel? I've been running crazy all day. Oh, well, right? promise me you'll keep calm. For Christ's sake, Kat. Try to. All right, then. We'll just talk. Otherwise, I'm personally going to beat him to pulp, so I'll get it out of him. Oh, no, I don't want any violence. For Ian's sake, if you can't do it for me. When I was 14, I got raped. What? What do you mean, you got raped? I don't mean interfered with or saying no when they thought I meant yes or any of the other things that happened to young girls. There wasn't nothing I could have done about it. Oh, don't come near me, Pete, please. If you want me to go on talking, just be quiet. If you're thinking why I never told you, I never told no one till it was too late. 
You know what my dad was like, let alone me brothers. I couldn't even tell me mum. She'd have only got another idea for not bringing me up right or something. Besides, I felt so dirty. Like somehow it had to be my fault. Oh, Jesus, Ken. He was in this car. And he asked me if I knew where Morley Street was. And I swear, I never thought twice. Because he looked so ordinary. And he asked me to show him in the A to Z. And I got in the car and we was looking it up. And the next thing I knew, I was coming to on the back seat and we was miles from anywhere. I didn't do any of the things you think you do. I didn't scream, didn't cry. Something just took over and I went dead. Not like I did with my dad, just with my mum. I thought that way he wouldn't kill me. After, he said he was sorry, but he couldn't help himself. And that if I never told no one, he'd take me back to where he picked me up. And that's what happened. So you see, in a way, What's my fault? Because I let him. Did you go to the police? How could I? I told you. I didn't fight back. They wouldn't have believed me. Oh, please, don't move, Pete. Please. I haven't finished yet. Four months later, I realised I was pregnant. I went to Dr Legg and he got it all out of me. Didn't tell me, Mum and Dad. I wouldn't let him. What good would that have been? They knew what they were like, all right. They wouldn't have believed it either. He did say something to me, Dad, though. I never knew what. I was a scared hell out of him, though. Because right through to the rest of it, he never laid a finger on me again. Did you have an abortion? adopted. It was the best way. I knew even then I would have made her suffer for it somehow. I didn't want to look at her then. And I don't want to know about her now. I thought it was all over. Finished. Nothing ever is, is it? So why didn't you tell me? Oh, Pete, because I'd shut it out, like it happened to someone else. But it was there, on my medical records. And Nick Cotton got hold of him, and now everyone's going to know. <laughs> if you want to divorce me, I'd understand. Except for Ian. What are we going to do about you? Yeah. <laughs> you think I'll really ever leave you? You really think that, eh? But he's going to be all right. Just take some of those sleeping pills. Never lie down. Everything's going to be all right, babe. Just leave it to me. Right, now, you know what to do, yeah? Now, there's Tony and some of the others. That's good. Right. Half an G and T, please. Look, I still don't get it. What am I supposed to say if I don't know what he's done? Doesn't matter what he's done. Just tell him that Pete's going to come in here looking for Nick and there's going to be real trouble if they don't do something. But I know what he's like when he's gone. We're not twins for nothing. That bad. Maybe the little thug needs to be taught a lesson. Arthur, he's not just going to hit him. He's going to kill him. I don't want any brother of mine serving time for that movie. Maybe somebody will. Yeah, well, you get on with your orders. Angie and I'll sort out the rest. 
Well, she must have told him by now. I reckon he'll be here any minute. First place is going to come look here. Paul, I hope there's not going to be any fighting. Because Dan's gone off on one of his uh, little visits. Oh, couldn't you stop him? I did me best. He thought I was just making it up to get him to stay. Oh, well, Arthur knows what to do. There won't be any brawling in there. Good. I hope Kath's going to be all right. This sort of thing, you never know which way it's going to go. She'll be all right. I'm not worried about that. Kathy, honestly, I could kill him myself. Don't you worry about killing him. There's other ways of getting him besides using violence. Oh, my God, that's all we needed. Have an orange juice, Lottie. Make it one of them sugarless ones, will you? You ought to lay off the sugar, you know. It might be just the thing for your complaint. Well, I reckon we should have done it proper last time. Don't worry, he won't get away with anything. Right, the important thing is we've got to stop Pete. Look out. Peter! 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 Doing up there? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, do us a favour, mate. Will you make the part of the stall? I want to get a cup. I'll tell you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Do you mind? No, no, no thanks. I'm not. Stop that, please, we are. See, Pete? We might change like something else, but uh, I'll call it TL. <laughs> what time did you say it was? 20 to 12. She should be here by now. But she said half past 11. Well, it's gone, that, isn't it? Only 10 minutes. She could have found someone else, I suppose. Well, you know what she's like. Well, not that I'm bothered. I've got plenty to do. She'll be here. Tea up, Pete. Cheers, Al. Okay. Oh, there you are. Of course I am. Yeah, I mean, I suddenly fancied a cup of tea myself. You come to the right place. Yeah. I've got cold standing out there. You've only been there a minute, aren't you? Cup of tea, Arthur? Uh, yes, please. Yeah. Where are you going? Go back to my stall. Oh, no, no, don't worry about that. I've got to say, keeping an eye on it. Look, why don't we sit down and have our tea in comfort? I don't want my tea sitting down. Anyway, it tells me parking. Oh, oh, that's all right, love. Oh, come on, Pete, don't stand there. I'm the lady with a pram. Why don't you? I am doing. Hey, is it still all right, Sid? It's all sitting. Listen, I've got to go. I'm in a rush. All right, I'll be back about half three. Don't worry. All right. Yeah, yeah. Nice kid, that. A nice kid. You know, she has her problems, but she won't give in easily. She refuses to lie down. Have you finished? Mm. Your lecture on survival, so I wouldn't mind getting back to my stall. Oh, yes, yeah. Just a minute. What are you doing up now? Just want to see if it stopped raining. I didn't know it had started. It hadn't, but it looked as though it might. And that's it? No. Well, I can't stand here chatting all day. I'll see you feeling. Hey, Arthur, what about you two? Uh, see you, Al. Yeah. Oi. I thought she was asleep. When was that? This morning. He thought I'd gone off me rocker. Well, I'm not surprised. I think we need a meeting. Get it sorted once and for all. Yeah, we'll pass the word round between us, all right? Right. I'll go and check on him again. Yeah, Arthur. Keep blending. You're doing a great job. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See you, Arthur. Yeah, Here, Tom. What are you doing tomorrow night? Nothing. Why? Well, we're having a little meeting to discuss Mr. Personality. Nick Cotton? That's him. Can't come in. Right. I want a drink. Oh, I should do. Of course you do. Life can't be all work. Two halves, please, Simon. Look, half, if I wanted a drink, I'd have come in and got one. I don't need you to tell me when I want a drink. Now, look, I'm your brother-in-law. I've got a perfect right to buy you a drink, and I? Of course you have. But does it have to be in the middle of me, serving somebody with a pound of Brussels sprouts? Uh, yeah. I don't know what you're worried about. Most people would be glad of the opportunity. I mean, I mean, no, you're right, right, back on the job, come on. Oh, come on. wait, finish the No, 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 I can't be oh. accused of stopping you earning a living. Come on. Listen, I'm will you? Any luck, Lofty? Nah, not a sausage. You know, this one would make some money if he did some work. There's nothing to do. We'll find something. Here you go, 79p. Cheers. Thank you. Here. This glass got lipstick on it. Well, so it has. What's wrong with that then? Not your colour. Yeah, look, this is my last one, right? I don't know why I bother. Nah, bring another crate light. How's we lucky we're getting a bit low? Yeah, yeah, okay. Look at that. Another quick. I only realised this, but the old world's taking me for an idiot. I mean, Arthur must think I'm really slow. 
I didn't want you to do something you'd regret. Oh, that always amazes me, that does. At times like this, people always know what's best for you. We just got to forget about it. Oh, just like that? Yeah. Well, I'm not like you, Kath. What do you mean? Well, I can't forget about it. All right, you managed to, but I never will. I didn't forget. Then why didn't you tell me? I didn't see the point. I didn't see what it would achieve. No? No. Oh, well, this way certainly achieved something, hasn't it? It's got me thinking for one thing. What about? About what else you might be keeping from me. About what other secrets you might be hiding. Hey! Kath, I want to know. I mean, what else is there? Hey? Hey? Nothing for me, thanks. I just want a quick word with Annie. Hey, I'll be a minute. I'm the ah. oh. I thought I saw you sneaking in here, Arthur Fowler. What? I want to know what's going on. Don't we all? <laughs> you can stop being clever for a start. I know my eyesight's not as good as it was, but I've been watching you. Me? Yes, you. And you've been running around having a quiet word with everyone. So what? What about? That's my business. Not when it's to do with me, it ain't. Who says it's to do with you? I feel it in me water. Yeah? Well, I reckon your divining rod's out of order. Teed up? No, thanks. I'm not stopping. Just you remember, Arthur Fowler, as I always say, let him who is without sin cast the first stone. Gospel according to St John. On your bike, you daft pillar. Gospel according to Bird and Manny. Where's Al? Oh, he's on the phone. You'll have to join the queue. Two-head inquest. <sighs> hey, Ellie. Meeting tonight in the pub, nine o'clock. What about? The son of a hypochondriac. I'll be there. Yeah, well, I'll see you. I reckon I sussed out of brokers for the mortgage. Yeah? Yeah. I should be getting the mail for the post today, don't you? And I push to get it moving. But the thing is, Ellie, I've got someone else interested in it now. What? Yeah. Cash buyer came round yesterday. Cash buyer? Seems very keen on it. Hey, Lofty Simon, are you joining us or what? Uh, yeah, but Angie said we could only have five minutes. Yeah, it won't take long. You come inside? Yeah, yeah, just come in. Hey, you finished with that glass, Arthur? Does it look like I'm finished? What, well, I thought we might be dead. You'll be dead if you touch it. <laughs> A bit keen, aren't we, Lofty? Oh, I'm only doing my job. Now, right, before we start, I've got a dozen lottery tickets here, any one of which can make someone a very rich man. Now, who wants one? Well, now, come on, come on, someone's got a win. Remember that? Yes, but it's never any one of us. That's right. I've brought loads and never won a thing. That's how it goes. It's the luck of the draw. Have you ever had anyone win, Arthur? Yes. Who? A bloke at work, he won. How much? He matches any money. <laughs> what did he win, then? Another go. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better than nothing. Here, I've never had a go, Arthur. Give me ten. Ten? Lovely, yeah. Yeah, I won a few quid on the horses today. Let's yeah. see what I can win from Wolford Town. Ooh, you'll Jeez. be lucky. Yeah. Now. Good evening. Ah, oh, hello, Doc. Have you got five minutes? Uh, I've got one minute. I think it'd take longer than a minute. Yeah. No, I've got one minute to say one thing. I admit I was wrong about Nick Cotton. Yeah, well, I mean. But from what I've heard today, the way you're intending to deal with this problem is much more wrong. What do you mean? Well, you can't go around taking the law into your own hands. I don't think you quite follow. Oh, I follow, all right. This country's got its problems. We can all see that. But they'll only be made worse by groups of soi-disant vigilantes who act through a primitive urge to right wrongs by indiscriminate acts of retaliation. That attitude will only serve to fuel the fires of those people who believe in anarchy and who reject the ideals of democracy. Revenge is not the mother of progress. Around the square? Yeah, but how many times has he done that? Once. He's gonna get murdered. Oh, I better get the oxygen ready. I'll have a quid on the other fella. Only a mother bet on Ian. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Evens. Right. Oh. All you've got to do is sit there, wait for the moment, and then press the tit of the side. It's not as easy as that. The light's got to be right, otherwise it'll come out all blurred. And that's a chance we've got to take. And any chance we have a nailing Nick Cotton's worth taking. We've got to put the frighteners on him. Oh, no, it just seems... What we got to lose? A roll of film? I look sharp. Pete's coming. Yeah, keep out the good work, son. Yeah, I'll be over your side in a second, right? Come on, then. Let's get on with it. Don't make it look too obvious. Look, you go in first, I'll wait here a minute, and then I'll come in through the other door. OK? Right, Mr. Bill. Yeah, we're going to be open two tonight. Oh, there will be no contest. No contest at all. That's what I like to hear. Tanner. You've bled me dry. 20, I said. 
I had to borrow this off her, Lou. All right, then. Bring it around the laundry later. I can't. What? I can't leave here. I ain't got the time. I'm working. All right, then, Kef. Here will do. Hold up. I don't think he got my right side. Oh. David Bailey over there. Now then, let's be having the other tenner. I ain't got it, I told you. You'd be telling Porky's your Uncle Nick now, would you, Kath? I mean, if uh, I was to take a little look inside your purse, eh? I can't afford it. I've got me shopping to do, and I? A tenner, I said. <sighs> Picture of me taking money from you. What does it prove? I'll tell you what it proves. Nothing. You owe me 20, you pay me back. And that's my story. Cheers. Oh, and, uh, I'll check with Inspector Clouseau over there. Make sure he's got a film and a camera. You never know with Arthur, do you? <laughs> Kiss a pound of bananas for me, Mum. Uh, you change your tenner. These are all I got. 